everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to be doing the Unpopular Opinions book tag. So I just wanted to give the quick disclaimer here. I'm not trying to bash any books that you love. Um, I really am happy that you guys love reading and you love specific books. And if you're really passionate about that, I'm not trying to br rag on any books. Everybody has different book tastes. So maybe a book you love, I don't like, or maybe a book I I like you don't love and that's totally totally fine so I just want to give that disclaimer I'm not trying to rag on anybody these are just books that I personally didn't like so let's just get right into it question number one a popular book or series that you didn't like so I have a few my first one is one that I've talked about before I'm not gonna go into too much detail I didn't really like this book I haven't continued on in the series um, I might I just I didn't love it I didn't love the writing by the end of it I was pushing myself and I, I just didn't love it the next book is Miss Peregrine's Home for Peculiar Children. This gets hype so much here on BookTube. Everyone really, really enjoys it. Um, they always talk about it. They love the series. I just didn't like it very much. I think it was just a mediocre book. I don't think the writing was terrible, but it was just not something that I really, really enjoyed reading. Um, like I said before, I absolutely love the pictures in it. I think the pictures are like super cool. Um, and the idea is really good. I just didn't love this book. And then the last book may come as kind of a shock. Um, Fangirl by Rainbow Rowell. So before anybody says anything, I didn't finish this book. I started reading it and I didn't really like it very much personally. I may not have liked it because at the time I was doing a lot of different things and reading a lot of different books, but I just didn't really like it when I first read it. I'm definitely gonna give it another try, hopefully over the summer, but for right now, I didn't really love it, and I know everybody puts it on their favorite books of all time, and I'm so happy if you like it, but personally, I just didn't love the writing style, and it just wasn't for me. All right, so the next question is, a popular book or series that you love but everyone else hates? So I don't have one, really. I don't really like anything that everyone else hates, but there is a book series that here on BookTube, not very many people like to read, So, and that is the A Song of Ice and Fire series. Now, I know so many people who've read this like there are so many people who've read this so I'm not saying it's not popular but what I am saying there's a lot of big booktubers who don't want to read these they watch the TV show but they don't want to read the books um, so I have obviously not read the whole series yet um, I'm working on book two but I didn't quite understand why nobody likes to read them um, people a lot of times say that they're way too long and they don't want to commit but I really really enjoyed the first book I'm working on the second one but it's a very popular book series, but on booktube, I feel like it kind of gets looked over a lot. Question number three, a love triangle where a person ended up with the person you didn't want them to be with. So I'm going to be spoiling um, a part of this book, so if you don't want to hear about it, just skip this. So if you don't know this book, it's the sequel to All the Boys I've Loved Before by Jenny Han. I loved that book. Personally, I didn't really like this book very much. But... Lara Jean and Peter are pretty much fighting this entire book like he does some really mean things and I did not like him like the first book he was he was straight up I loved him I was like Peter and Lara Jean forever and then in this book I really 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 didn't want her to end up with him but she ended up ending up with him and I felt like this whole book itself was just too much I wish she would have just kept the other book and made it just a standalone rather than a duology but I was so angry when she ended up with Peter. Number four, a popular book genre that you hardly ever reach for. And I'm gonna probably give this to YA Contemporary. Honestly, I really don't read that much young adult stuff. Um, lately, I have been because I've been doing more booktube, but if it weren't for booktube, I probably wouldn't read any at all. I read mostly new adult and adult books um, just because I feel like I connect better with those. Um, but I do read some young adult, but I don't really read any young adult contemporary. Uh, the only series that I can think of off the top of my head would be the Anna and the French Kiss like trilogy. Um, and I loved those books, but for the most part, I don't read like any. And obviously, you know, the PSA Still Love You series. But I, the rest of them, I just don't. I don't know. I don't know why I don't like it. Maybe because my whole life is basically a young adult contemporary novel. But I just, it's not my favorite. Number five, I'm going to get so much heat on this. But a popular character that you did not like. And I would have to give it to Snape. Um, okay, so before I get any hate, I understand what this character of Snape was made to do. Like, I get Snape's intentions. I get that Snape was ultimately sort of a good person however the way that he treated Harry and Hermione and Ron I hated it I absolutely I did not like him as a character until we obviously get to the end of the series and we figured out 
why he was the way he was and blah 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 but still the way he treated like he could have treated him so much better if you really liked loved him or cared about him i mean not that he loved him but he cared about him obviously then why did you treat him that way like i, I didn't quite understand that and like I don't hate his character. Um, I think J.K. Rowling did a great job crafting his character, but I think he just wasn't somebody where I, I was really rooting for him, honestly. Number six, a popular author you can't get into. I've already mentioned Rainbow Rowell, and I've tried two or three of her books, and I didn't finish any of them, and again, it could be the setting in which I was reading them. Um, maybe it was a time when I was just doing a lot of things at once, but personally, I just didn't love it. I know some people are obsessed with Rainbow Rowell's writing style. Um, they read everything and, and it's totally, totally okay. But personally, I just haven't found a book of Rainbow Rowell's that I love yet. So I'm going to keep trying. I'm going to try again, I promise. I'll try again probably over the summer. But for right now, I just don't, I don't, it's not my favorite. Number seven, a popular book trope you're tired of seeing. Um, because I don't read too much YA, there's not really too many reoccurring tropes that I see, to be honest, but I think more than anything, probably like the backstabbing best friend, and that could be in movies also, I just feel like that's just an overplayed stereotype, like, oh my gosh, the best friend, who would have guessed it, she actually hates her or something, it's just, it's really cheesy, it's just an old stereotype, it's really unnecessary, or the backstabbing boyfriend, like you find out at the very last 10 pages that he wasn't the right guy and she should have ended up with somebody else like I think the, just the backstabbing thing like it's overplay number eight a popular book series that you have no interest in reading and I cannot believe that I've never talked about this but I've never read Twilight and I really don't have any intentions of reading it and I know everybody is gonna kill me for that because everybody loves Twilight like everybody loves Twilight but when I was younger I wasn't allowed to read it and honestly I didn't really have too much interest in reading it um, I'm not really into the whole vampire craze that's like I probably won't ever read Vampire Academy um, just because it doesn't really interest me like just vampires in general I've never gotten in on that train like with the Harry Potter wizarding stuff I thought that was so cool like I still do but like vampires never really been into it like I, I can see the appeal but I don't personally have it so like Twilight Vampire Academy really not my thing really don't care if I don't read them and then the last question is what movie or TV adaptation did you like more than the book and this was an interesting question because I have one that happened this year and this was the first one Room by Emma Donahue. So I gave this kind of a low review um, because I loved the book at first. When I started reading it, I was obsessed with it. But when I got to the end, I really, really didn't like it. I'm going to spoil a little bit, so if you don't want to hear the spoiler for it, just skip this. But when they escape the room, when they get out of the room, it's still narrated by the little by the five-year-old boy. And like, I get where she was going with that by the end. It was just very annoying to have him constantly questioning everything. And I get, I love little kids. I love being around little kids. I, I don't mind the questioning, but I mean, when it was literally three times in one paragraph, obviously he's gonna have a culture shock. He's been living in this room his whole life. But the narration, and like there was this insistent thing where um, he was five years old, but his mom still breastfed him because they lived in this little room. And there were like these insistent scenes in the book where she would literally put them in every few pages and I didn't understand the need to do that. Like I don't have any problem with breastfeeding, anything like that, but it just didn't make sense. I didn't understand why it was a constant reoccurring thing in the book. So both of those things really like, I just didn't understand that and I just thought the narration, it would have been a perfect book had the narration been flipped. But with the movie, I thought it was amazing. Um, I think Brie Larson did a fantastic job in the movie. I think it was really portrayed well. It made me very emotional watching it and it was really a lot better to see it from a third person perspective to be watching in on it rather than being in somebody's head for it so that was my unpopular opinions book tag I hope I didn't like hurt anybody's feelings or anything <laughs> but yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a big thumbs up and I will see you back here later